Hey everyone, it's George from Skysif here. Today I'm going to run through one of the new exciting additions to our Quid Design Library, which is our Eurocode 3 Structural Steel Member Design Module. Now this module was intended for the quick calculation of member design capacities and utilization values for the custom and standard structural steel sections. Now we have this fully integrated with our section database, which is over 2,000 European sections, but it also allows for the design of custom sections at the same time. Now by default, this module is set up to check against Eurocode 3 version 2005. We're also adding in support for national annexes and currently got support for the British annex, but we're working on more in the future. If you have any annexes you need in particular, feel free to leave a comment below and we'll get them added to our development queue. Now you can select a section here by choosing firstly the shape for your section. And then this input here has a list of all the available sections in our database. You can use a search here to pull out the section you want as well. Um, we have similar inputs for the steel grade, where if you change a steel grade, it will automatically calculate the yield strength and the ultimate strength for that section based on the thickness of the web and the flange. Uh, at the moment, we carry out section classifications automatically, which are based on the applied axial force on the section and the applied direction of bending. Now, sometimes you might want to override uh, the section classification, and you can do it here just by selecting a class in this drop-down input. Uh, to design a custom section, we will just type custom into this box here, and you'll notice that unlocks the dimension inputs here. And we can put in custom dimensions for this section, like this, and it will carry out a full suite of member design capacity checks for this custom section. You can do the same thing with a sealed grade. So if we set a custom value here, I can then input these values manually and use that if there isn't a grade suitable for the project you're working on. You can customize the member lengths for flexure and compression using the inputs here. And we also have an option to set the member to be continuously restrained for torsion, which will then skip the torsional flexural buckling checks and the lateral torsional buckling checks as well. And down the very bottom here, you'll input your design loads, which are what will be used for the utilization checks. Now we'll run an example of the uh, module here. And you can see that we get a detailed list of all the section properties for your section and then tabulated concise outputs for all the uh, member design capacity checks. And this is the automatic calculation of section classification here. And we have similar tables for shear, axial, bending, etc. Now at the very bottom of the report, it will have a summary of all the member and section resistance values and also a summary of all the utilization checks and which cause of Eurocode those checks come from. If you want a PDF copy of the report, you can download a PDF using the button here. Now, often projects will have multiple steel members inside the same structure, and you'd want to group those calculations together. And we recently upgraded our batch run support, which will allow you to do just that. Now, batch run in Quick Design is basically a collection of Quick Design runs, which are all stored within the same file. So the input and the output of batch run is very similar to an Excel spreadsheet. And it also allows you to copy and paste in and out of Excel using these tables here. So I'll add another row to the batch run, which I'll use in the add row table here. Now I can modify this row by typing in values into these boxes directly, or I can go into the edit view here and edit them in the user interface, which is generally a bit of an easy way to do it. So we'll update these values here, we'll choose a different channel, um, we'll then uh, change one of these lengths, and we'll save that and that will update these values here. And you can see when you run the batch run, you'll get a line item for each member which you're designing here. So there are a few other ways you can add rows to the batch run. You can add them like I just did, or you can duplicate a row if you want to copy one. So I might make four copies of row number two. You can see that they're in there. As I said, you can edit these in the spreadsheet style format. So if I wanna change this channel to be a UPE 100, for example, I can type that in there. You'll notice that these don't automatically update, and that's just to stop you from messing with your uh, inputs when you don't mean to. But what we can do, I'll change the grade to, so we'll make it S235. If you click this verify button here, that'll then check all those values and automatically update them for you. As you can see here, it'll update the dimensions and the yield strength based on uh, the section you've entered. You can also do that for multiple rows using the verify multiple rows button here. 
Now, as I said, this is very compatible with Microsoft Excel. So you can actually have all these values in a spreadsheet and upload the CSV file instead, if you prefer that to work that way. Or alternatively, you can then download the CSV file here and open those results in the spreadsheet instead. So that's a quick introduction to the Eurocode 3 Still Member Design module. If you have any comments or queries, please feel free to leave them in the comment box below. Thank you.